Hello. Here are three friends, James, Elias, and Tom. They are holding balloons. Look, what are in the balloons? Each balloon has one word, am, is, and are. Do you know why we use them in English? Let's start with the first word, am. I is a pronoun. We use am with the pronoun I. I am happy. I am sleepy. What is the pronoun in this sentence? That's right. I is the pronoun that we use with the verb am. We use the verb am with the pronoun I. For example, I am bored. So we can say that we use am with the pronoun I. Now look at the second balloon. It has the word is. Let's learn how we can use it. John is tall. John is a name of a man. Can we replace John with a pronoun? Of course, yes. We can say he is tall. We use the verb is with the pronoun he. Julia is sad. Julia is a girl. We can replace Julia with a pronoun. What is it? Good! We can replace Julia with she. She is sad. We use the verb is with the pronoun she. The box is big. Box is an object. The pronoun it can take the place of the word box. We can say it is big. We use the verb is with the pronouns she, he, and it, and singular nouns. For example, she is beautiful. The cup is red. We learned that we use the verb is with singular nouns and pronouns. What about the last one? Let's learn how to use the verb are. You are clever. The verb are is used with the pronoun you. Harry and Jack are hungry. Harry and Jack are more than one person. We can replace their names with the pronoun they and say they are hungry. The verb are is used with the pronoun they. Adam and I are tired. The words Adam and I can be replaced with a pronoun. What is it? Yes, the pronoun is we. We are tired. The verb are is used with the pronoun we. We use the verb are with the pronouns they, we, you, and plural nouns. For example, you are beautiful. The cups are red. We learned that we use the verb are with plural nouns and pronouns.